Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. I'm having an awesome day. Today I'm reviewing this right here. This is the X Vive U2 wireless guitar system. This is what it looks like in the package here. Basically, this is a simple guitar uh, wireless guitar system. Instead of having a cable that's hooking up from your guitar to your pedal board or to your amp or whatever you're plugging into, it uses it wirelessly here. So let me just show you what happens here. I'm going to turn them both on. This blue light just turned on. That's indicating that it's receiving a signal. Now these run around the $150 range on Amazon and uh, X5 sent this to me to do a review and I tested it out pretty extensively. Uh, I did some at home testing with it. I tested it out um, at a rehearsal uh, with multiple guitars and they all turned out great. Bass guitars, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, this sounds great. Uh, what I'm looking for in a unit like this is will it cut in and out on me? So, you know, am I going to be losing signal, number one? The second thing is going to be quality of signal. Well, is there any, any, you know, degradation in it? You know, is it sound just digital or anything like that? To test how, how the, the signal, if it's going to chop in and chop out, I really put it to the test. So we were rehearsal last week and I asked my, my guitar player if he would uh, be willing to plug it in from his guitar to his pedal board and then just start walking. Well, first he did the whole rehearsal with it from his guitar to his pedal board. We also tested it from my guitar to an amplifier which sits in another room. So it's going through a wall, a drywall with aluminum stud wall. Then we decided to see how far we could get before it would drop out. So uh, my guitar player, Chris, uh, he plays at our church. He started playing and he just started jamming and walking, walked into where the chairs are at in the sanctuary, walked out a set of double doors across a lobby through another set of double doors down a hallway. Now this is a steel building with aluminum studs and if there was ever a place where you know aluminum and steel are gonna you know make something not work well this would be the place just from the type of building that it's at uh, the type of building that it's the materials that it's built out of. A little bit towards the end. Because I was down by through the other other set of doors. I would say about almost 200 feet away, there was a slight dropout, not even a big dropout, just a slight dropout, and um, where I could just hear a difference in the in the signal from where we're at. It's way far away through two through two double doors. So I this this unit is not going to be any issue as far as you know how far you're going to be able to travel with this. It's not going to cut out on you. Certainly going from a guitar to a pedal board. Um, also, at our place that we're at, we have a lot of wireless stuff. So we're we're playing through. Uh, there's a wireless in ears, um, and then there's four or five different wireless mics that are happening at the same time. All different frequencies, all different manufacturers and there wasn't any any problems with that now what's cool about this is you get four different channels on this so it's not like you just open it up and there's only one channel now when you turn the unit on what's going to happen is you'll see it will blink this blue light will blink blinked one time that tells me that it's on channel one if i hit this channel button right here that that button at the top then it's going to select two blinks indicating it's channel two Three blinks, channel three, if I hit again, channel four, four blinks. So if you want to know how the units are connected, which one is which, if we're on the right channel, you just turn them on and see how many it's how many blinks it's blinking. That tells you what channel you're on. I'm gonna hook up this guitar right here, just with the regular quarter inch out into uh, this Focusrite eye track pocket that I'm using to film this with. That's the little interface from my iPhone and see how much interference is happening if there or see how much what the audio sounds like then i'm going to use the x5 and see what that audio sounds like and compare the two now one of the things that a lot of times happens with audio is going into a phone is is it picks up that so this is actually a really good experiment because if if there's 
no uh, sound being transferred from the phone into the wireless system, you know that it's gonna have really good uh, sound because the phone is literally recording this and it's right there. So uh, let's hook this up and see what it does. So this is the audio right now of my guitar going straight into the Focusrite iTrack Pocket that I'm filming with into that quarter inch. Let's be quiet for a second. All right, I'll see you how the X Vive does. All right, it is working. I'm gonna just set it here and see if we can hear any difference. All right, we'll compare those two and see how it sounds. But for me, I was really impressed. I'm gonna try to get this in the picture here. I was impressed with this. Uh, there's a couple other features that I did like about it. Um, as you can see, this is easily plugged into here. You can just tilt this down whatever way you want it to fit. You know, a lot of guitars will ha be have an end plug like that. And I really like that they made this kind of curvy. So if it's an end plug, it's going to fit better onto your, um, I don't even know what you'd call that, just on the side of your, your end of your guitar, it would fit better into the jack. I mean, other thing is a lot of units like this, um, you know, might have issues going into certain guitars like a Stratocaster. And this doesn't have any issues going into that because you're able to adjust the angle to the right angle to get into the Stratocaster. Whereas if it was just a 90 degree angle or it was just a different angle, then that would be kind of difficult. Uh, you know, I'm gonna gotta give them props for that, for, for thinking ahead and going, we're gonna make a unit that's gonna fit any instrument. And you could use this for anything. Uh, anything that's got a quarter inch jack, this would work on. I want to point out too the battery life. Uh, I believe I read that it was a four hour battery life on these and it comes with two um, USB chargers, uh, charging cables. It did not have a charging port with it, um, but you could use an old iPhone or Android USB charger for that. It also comes with a little package here that you can, you can store these in. Um, but for me, I'm actually just going to store them in the box. The box is actually pretty well made, so uh, I'm not even going to use the bag necessarily. I'll use that for something else. But for a budget unit like this, you're looking at on Amazon around $150. Um, you're not going to really be able to beat this. This comes in a couple different colors. There's a silver, uh, which is what they had out first. And I actually considered uh, getting that, uh, getting this a while ago, and I'm really glad that they came out with the black, because the black to me just looks more professional, uh, looks more quality, even though it's the exact same thing. It just is a different color, and I think there's one or two other colors that they may have too. So I really like the black. Anyway, um, if you're looking at an entry level unit, this is this is a good way to go. I don't think you're going to regret this at all. It is made out of plastic. Uh, but it, it seems pretty durable to me. You know, little things like, um, you know, it's got this little rubber thing. It's got a sticker on it now, but it's got a little rubber like foot right there. That's just thinking ahead so that if it's ever resting on your guitar, it's not going to over time wear a scratch in your guitar uh, because it already has that little rubber foot there uh, to prevent it from scratching. So anyway, X5 did a really good job with this unit. Kenneth Russell out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Russell, and I will see you in another video.